Hello, welcome to Darcy's Misadventures with Mix Media. And um, I started working on this piece of fabric and this piece of fabric in a in the jello plate session this morning, which I did record, and I may do it on fast speed with like no sound, bring your own music kind of a thing. But um, I don't know. In case I don't do, I'm going to show you what I made. Just show you. Did you guys like to see that stuff, right? Okay, in case in case I don't, I mean I recorded it partly for you and partly for me because you know what if I did something and I was like oh how did I do it? So that's partly why I try to record those things. Oh, there's this big piece of. Hold on, the pile starts here. So um, this was already done. I just added that piece there, and this is a just a grungy piece I did, and then this is my brayer off and did a couple other things on top of that. And some tissue, which already had some stuff on it. And then I added the, um, I call them medallions. They're the um, Oriental Lattice. That's what it's called. And that on the black looks really cool. This was the brayer off. And so I picked up some of that and did some um, of the borders on that on the plate too. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I haven't shown it yet and you really want to see it, it, it's not too much for me to just kind of take away the volume and maybe put it on double speed. And then you guys can double speed it and then it'll be four times speed. Or if you don't like it on double speed, you can half speed it. You know, that kind of a deal. So this one, I did like the green. I did the texture with the um, with this. And then picked up the turquoise flowers on top of that. This, the green was already on the tissue. And so I just picked up the flowers with the blue. Uh, this was just some bubble paper. And I just was picking up some bits here and there just to add to it. Some pattern paper again with the pickup and some black tissue with the pickup and then added some numbers on top of, oh you know what I did oh my numbers are backwards because I forgot to put them backwards on the plate so then they're backwards on here but you know sometimes that's gonna happen huh I hope that little piece of lint is not um interfering with the uh, camera nope I don't see it there's a little piece of lint and now that the fans on it's like blowing I can see it um this was the pickup from the Wednesday I had, it was on my plate and it was drying and so you know added the white and then this was uh, it's really cool like when the red mixes with other colors it just becomes like a deeper red because that was probably just like the cadmium red and then this has got layers it was a uh, inked paper with the with just I had picked up some of those uh, stencil butter from another project and then I picked up the yellow oriental lattice on there and then also some of the starry night. Oh, and this is the final pickup. Um, and so this is one thing I did different. Uh, my last layer before I removed the stencil, I put a color on so that my pickup layer was only going to show the stencil bits. So that's a little different than I usually do a long haul. So, I mean, I guess if I do show it, that's one thing you'll kind of want to see. And that is just shiny. <laughs> more shiny I picked up this thing so many times it just wasn't because I wasn't being patient so I kept picking it up and it would pick up some and then it would pick up some more but it got some good texture on the plate and I mean on my pieces too and then that left some wrinkly bits on the pieces and this is the paper bag I was using as a brayer off I uh, got a little bit from pickups around there and also there and then I saw more I can play with <laughs> on the edges there if I when I cut it, I just haven't cut it yet. And then that one was the um, the Starry Night one. Not Starry Night. Yeah, Starry. And also the numbers, at least the numbers are like so faded here. It's not as obvious that they're backwards. But yeah, they're backwards. Because you got to remember when you're gel plate printing to put your stencil on, if it has numbers or letters, to put it on the plate backwards. Anyway, I keep seeing these journals with painted fabric covers. These are not necessarily the colors I want to use. I want some more maybe some brighter colors I don't know what I want but I do want ooh, I want random see that's the thing is I want excuse me while I move my iPad I was watching videos well I was playing on the gel plate and I was thinking that I wouldn't really be able to um do much with the let's see oh I know I think I will grab my very dirty five by seven and uh, use that as a template, kind of, sort of. I don't mind that it's grungy. And let's see, I've got some Prussian blue and turquoise up there. 
I've got some orange on here and some, um, what is this called? Yellow ochre. Actually, I had to get a smaller one, but whatever. So, let's see. I'm going to just make some patterns, I think. All right, I can go back in the box. The whole point of having the box here and having my golden paints closer is so that I don't have to have them stacking up on my except these go way over on the thing so they're a little harder to reach but you know still they don't have to be right oh that's where that is that's what i was looking for a second ago I couldn't find it because it was there i didn't know those houses were there do you remember that commercial do you remember that commercial i didn't even know those houses were there that was a lot of times that commercial all right just kind of want to And then any extra I'll just kind of rub on there. And hey, maybe we'll do this. Can I do that? I mean, pattern on pattern, is that dumb? Maybe, maybe not. You can see it a tiny, tiny bit. That might work better with a, a stronger pattern. Let's see. I mean, yeah, with a darker color, not stronger pattern. Will that come off on there? A little bit. Ooh, and somebody sent me all right somebody sent me some once before some um oh man what is it called i knew exactly what it was called <laughs> when i saw it and then i was after that i was like i can't remember the name of that it's the um sequin waste yeah that's what it's called right sequin waste it is right what is it my chair is extra squeaky right now let me find it because it would be good to use on this. All right. It was from EB. Um, she's not on Instagram or YouTube or anything, but so I'm just saying her first name. Um, she's on Facebook. I don't know if she, if she wants to say her Facebook thing in the comments, she totally can. Uh, I love this, by the way. So she did, if I send out happy mail to you because you've requested it, you do not have to send anything back. However, if you want to, a one ounce envelope is okay. And if you have not yet requested happy mail or you're going through a rough time and you need some more happy mail, just email me at darcysmixedmedia at gmail.com and I will get that out to you. I have two people that have requested that I haven't sent out to and a couple people that I just want to send some stuff out to that I haven't yet. Look at the writing, it's so cool. Um, so anyway, so that was her envelope and then it was, um, right around st patrick's day so the fun stickers you guys have some really cool handwriting too so i'm going to show what she sent real quick little cute little notes and stuff she's like she's like me with the ps pps ppss whatever oh i didn't see all that let's see sticker and napkin fans <laughs> i love all the little notes so that's like a timu sticker and then she fancied it up let's see oh belly band idea from liz mcguire that Liz McGuire is Buttons for Brains on uh, YouTube and whatnot. So that's super cute. And some scrap paper. I always love some other people. You know, other people's scraps are always so much more fun. And this is the uh, sequin waste, which you can use for stencils. I got, my friend Lisa gave, Lisa, Lori, gave me a piece a few years ago. 2020, cause, no, 2021 I think is when he had COVID. Because why have it during COVID? No, we had it the year after. Um, and I was, like that's when I got that one and it disappeared in my bedroom somewhere. I never saw it again, so I don't know. Look at this, aren't these cool? I love, I love me some, uh, what are these called? Robin, you'll know, you can think of words when I can't. Um, and some more gel plate prints. And some cool papers, which I think actually would also be cool to use on the gel plate. Um, although I do have some things that I have that color. And then all these are going to go in. This is my box. Make sure no one's address is showing. This is my box of stuff people send me. And I'm putting it in there. And someday it'll be get made, made into a journal. You might have seen that box Saturday morning. Oh, that reminds me. i got to go post that. <laughs> Anyway, I was thinking some of these circles would be fun on here. Um, and I do want my brushes. Where are my new brushes that I just... Why? Why, why, why? Why would I know where things are? I didn't want my brushes anyway. I wanted whatever this is. 
And I know this will probably green out because I'm putting it on there, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. I just don't mind that too. A little bit of that. Uh, just, just random. All right, I kind of cut that a little thin, but we're going to make it work. Because I just want to have some just random stuff on here. And I'll probably do this with some stencil. Oh, look, that got a little thicker than I wanted. All right, don't press so hard so it doesn't smush behind. Or do it like it the same way so it's kind of like that everywhere. See, see how fun sequin waste is? <laughs> just saying, it's kind of fun. And I don't know how much of this I'll be using on one journal and cutting. So, you know, I figure if the whole piece is kind of similar, then, you know, we'll just have two coordinating journals or use the outside and the inside, but the colors will all work together. You know, my colors, the quinacridone oranges and the yellow ochres and the teals and turquoises and navy blues and maybe even some dark browns. Those, maybe even a little pop of maroon or red here or there, everywhere, wherever. Yeah, just a tiny, tiny little bit there. Just, we're, we're doing it, not doing it the same way exactly. We have a bigger piece of sponge. I mean, I have plenty of sponge. It's not like, it's not like I'm uh, in need of sponge. I have lots of them. I don't know. I'm just being random. It may get covered. It's just, this is the background or this is the whole thing. I don't know. I'm just, and then we can take this and find a page in our journal that maybe even already has some stuff on it. Look, that could use a little brightening up, couldn't it? <laughs> more color, why not? Well, we can always, if it's too much color, we just gesso it. It's, it's not a big deal. It's, it's not a horrible thing. It's, it's kind of cool, really. Dark and deep and mysterious and whatnot so yeah if you don't like to waste paint have yourself a book over to the side that you can just do stuff on uh let's see did i haven't done quinacridone nickel azo gold not quinacridone it's not the word i was trying to say i want to do suppression blue that's the word i'm trying to say that's what I'm trying to do and say and all the things. And up oh, my circle from the guy. See, he totaled my car. I kept his little thing that went to his car. Actually, all these little bits that are falling off of here could be interesting little bits that end up on just little bits of random brayering here and there because why not? So, have you guys ever painted fabric? No, I'm, I'm not putting any special stuff in this because I'm never going to wash it. It's just going to be a journal cover, most likely. So, I'm not overly concerned about, you know. It, and even if I did wash it, guess what? It's, it's not going to come out. Have you ever got paint on your clothes? Does it come out in the wash? No. Now, it would just be a little more flexible if you put in the, um, the fabric sizing, medium, whatever it is. So... So, a little overall pattern happening. It's not a bad idea. So, oh, that looks kind of... It's all right. I'm going to put some other size circles, too. Plus, there's the other circles. All right. I think that's probably enough. But am I going to stop? No. I'm going to keep going, aren't I? Oh, let's do that in here. On to somewhere. It's barely going to show. This page is going to be done without me trying. <laughs> I think this is like my go-to page for just kind of putting things on. I do like to go off the page. Um, there, that's it. That's all that page needs. Uh, what about another page? Do we want to add that? To, see, I, I got mixed up somewhere, and that page is not quite right. But because I think this is supposed to be the page that has stuff on it, and then you don't have to break a blank page because you've already got stuff on that page. 
So, you know, if someone ever totals your car, look around in the debris on the ground and see what you can see. You might find something cool to make marks with. Just saying. All right. Oh, look at these. They just fell from somewhere. Oh, these. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. I haven't decided. They could end up in Happy Mail or they could end up as a book or whatever. So now I'm just kind of scraping some of this with the card. Just kind of you can just press that on there. Just to get a little bit of random blue here and there. Oh, see, isn't that cool though? Because that just looks like I tried to print something it didn't print quite. It's actually, it looks kind of cool. Alright, not hating it. No, hating it. What's next? Quinacridone nickel azo gold, right? Transparent red. And in case you didn't hear the last time, the nickel azo gold. Uh, my friend Trish Dewey, she did a little test to see, and she ha had the, the original quinacridone nickel azo gold and the regular. She's got a channel. Go check her out. She does some cool stuff. Um, and the new Just Nickel Azo Gold, and they're the same. She says they're the same, and I totally believe her. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm also wondering what I'm doing. I just want... Well, I will put it on here for a palette kind of purpose. Purpose is the palette, all right? Kind of maybe get my brush clean a little bit here and there. But, oh! I'm going to have to make sure I go wash these, but... Or maybe I want to use ink for that. Well, let's try this, and then if it works, I'll go... Oh, it worked nicely. Just some random stamping. Then i got to go wash the stamp right away. Will it come out clear every time? No. It's all right. I don't need it to come out clear all the time. I just, and also it's not perfectly orange and that's all right too. It's mixing with the blue quite a bit. <laughs> kind of looking more like a dark brown black kind of a deal. All right, um, I need to go wash that real quick, but I kind of want to also add a little bit of special orders here and there. because why not special order special orders don't upset us blah 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 all right let me go wash these stamps off yeah those stamps i got at an antique store up in middleborough massachusetts Did, haven't found anything like that since then i have another set that i got in plymouth at that antique store i don't know why i still have that little one under there all right little one will be different colors because you've got some Panacanone magenta and blue and turquoise and let's see what other colors. Um, I think I want a little bit thicker. So that didn't really give us our magenta, did it? So over here in the corner, corner, corner. I don't know who is jumping around upstairs. <laughs> they're not jumping. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, this is the heavy body. Because I want to come in with my brush and uh, just make some. Oh my god, that's funny! On the fabric, it almost makes a circle with the uh, the filbert brush. Is that what that is? But I was just kind of doing, attempting some mark making with the, with the brush. which apparently wants to do different things in different places. It's okay. We just not worry about perfection. We just making marks. Didn't really want necessarily circles, but they are. These are bigger circles over here now, aren't they? I don't even know if you can see this. I might be too far down. And what I'm gonna do here is pick those up and here, I'm going to do the same thing. 
except I want this corner. I don't want it to line up perfectly, but I do want it to. Oh, we'll just turn it. There we go. Now we have a little bit of a thing on there. Let's see what else. Anything else with the orange? Just making some marks. Oh, some longer lines maybe. I don't know. I'm out of it. So I mean the it's the paint is pretty much gone on the don't know. Can we get anything off of there? Oh, a little bit of the orange in the corners coming off. Um, but that's all dried on there. That'll be an inch. Oh, that'll be an interesting pickup, won't it? Let's just go ahead and put a piece of paper on there and pick that up, shouldn't I? Cause that will be fun. All right, and then if your background, you want to put it into the background a little bit more. You just take your brayer and some cream paint or whatever, gesso, whatever you like, and put it on there. I need a piece of heavy enough paper. I think this might be cardstock or let's hope it's not. Oh. As long as it's not photo paper, it feels shiny, but it feels like cardstock too. So just let that dry for a minute. But that would be interesting. Sometimes those are pretty interesting. I mean, they're grungy for sure, but definitely interesting. All right, um, do I have water in here? No, because why Why would I? Why would I be that smart? No, nope. um, my water cup is empty. Oh, splatters, I should do some splatters. That's what I should do. Oh, this is just so I don't have to go to the bathroom every time to get water, even though I have water. Water would be nice. All right, water doesn't quite fit, okay. gonna dry that off on here not leave it in the water this time like I usually do um, oh see I like how over these got a little bit of that rearing so they're not like as perfect as they were couldn't do that here if I tried Ooh, a little bit came off on there okay so I know this is a fairly large piece of fabric and you can't really see the whole thing other than bits and pieces I want some more like mark making like see this stuff right here I like I like like that kind of thing how do you get that I got that from like the edges off of brayers uh, edges off of gel plate prints that's how I get those but that's not the only but like what if I want them darker like um let's see Ooh, I do like to mix these two together it's all wet now it feels weird it feels so weird, Mom. Why did you make me do it? Oh, that's a tiny, tiny little palette, isn't it? Oh, we'll do a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of paint. Just going to add some of that meta black metallic to the turquoise paint. Makes me happy. Now where's my little brayer? It's right here, my little, see, tiny brayer. Ooh. Oh, this is this too much on that. Um. Let's see, let's see, oh, should we do like maybe some of these just roughly, but like not even perfectly, just, well, I'll be annoyed if they're, okay, I'm kind of glad they didn't come out because it depends which way, triangles can, diamonds, they don't have to have a direction, do they? No. Oh, it would be nice if they were at least straight though, no, those, that did not work. These are the um, fun foam. And, uh, oops, it's not working for that. Let's just put some on this, maybe. See, that's what we're supposed to get. <laughs> but we didn't. So we'll just go ahead and clean it off. So the paint doesn't stick on there forever. There we go. It's still wet down there. Feels weird. Feels so weird. Although, this is something I could do. 
I just don't want it to be. All right, so I'm just going to lay it down softly. Nope, lay it down harder here. Oh, there we go. And that would give me some shapes. If I wanted to do shapes, I could use my gel plates totally. I like that. I like, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't need as much paint though. That's the problem. Turquoise. Turquoise. So if you're ever wondering what you can do with your mini plates, oh, this, I had two three by five plates, so I had cut this one down to be a smaller shape. I don't know where the other part of it is. Who knows? I got a circle here though. It's a good. Cut me a three by five plate. Um, I must be in one of my containers. add some circles so I mean you could do this on paper too but you know just remember if sometimes people are looking for ways to use the little shapes and this is a way that's all I'm saying hmm. and they come out nicely on the fabric that's also all I'm saying <laughs> And you can get some and I do like to layer my patterns and with patterns I like to use like see here's a small one a kind of medium one and then the circle would be like or these circles too are like larger patterns like most of my patterns vary in size and that's what gives us some interest what is this here that I don't know but it looks cool <laughs> so what am I gonna do with this I'm gonna make journal covers is what I'm gonna make um, at some point in the future but I've been wanting to play on some fabric and just you know mess it up basically um, what else there's more I want to do but it's it's just not what's happening in my brain the way I think because I want I want just some random that really soaks into there some random lines here and just some random I want them random but I want them straight yeah that's that's how I roll <laughs> I guess if I really want them random then I would just not as worry much about where it's going would I all right this fabric because it oh did I tell you what this fabric is it is duck cloth so like the painter's cloth that they put down so because so because um i don't know if you've noticed this but canvas it's expensive <laughs> and um sometimes you can get um like canvas is already gessoed and on the thing for a decent price you know on sale and stuff and take them apart and make a cover but that's not always the easiest way to do it so you can also just take your duck cloth buy a big giant piece of duck cloth and share it with your friends <laughs> because even, like I didn't I, think, I don't know what size I got maybe like a I don't know it, it was a good size but also it um lasted a good long time so so here is this grungy one so oh they're all going to be grungy because that's kind of the point I want to do something on um well, I kind of want to finish that one too. all right let me grab a piece of muslin maybe that would be not as uh textured i want something less textured that's what i'm saying so this is a piece i think it's muslin i got it at the thrift store bed and bath material now check the thrift store for your stuff i'm just going to cut a smaller piece off so it's easier to manage and is at least large enough to also be a journal cover so it'll be bigger than what i need for a journal cover that's the fabric I'll throw that on the floor because why would I put it away right away okay and I'm gonna also cut it in half this way too so that it's a little bit easier to manage in front of the camera so muslin I think of as kind of a natural colored fabric well so is the duck cloth um, 
So maybe for this time, I'll do a little bit different. I'll start with a little bit of gesso here and there to get some white on there, I think. Because, you know, you don't do the same thing twice. I don't. Well, some people do. I don't. I tend to, like, do it different ways every time. All right. Not gesso, but white mat because that's what I have in front of me easier to get. So. So. Do I want to brayer it on? I don't know. But I need to be able to. That is crap on a cracker. All right way too much <laughs> way too much penny it's way too much um, I'm just gonna all right let me see what do I have over here for gel plates are they all fairly that one's fairly clean I just wanna yeah we can even do that that will give us some random marks which is kind of what I want oh and it gives us pattern for later <laughs> And, of course, the brayer has some stuff on it, too, so that's all right. Um, yeah, you can use fabric on the... All right, we're just going to use this for a palette, I guess, because... Because why not? Kind of love the randomness and the colors that are picking back up on there. Oh yeah, you could do that too. You could use one 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 gel plate to to use with another gel plate if you want to. All right, let's do this one a little more random and not worry about um you know straight lines and whatnot. This is I don't really like the ovalness of that though. It's all right. Look, it covered. Why are you stressing about it, Darcy? Why? as much of that on there as I can. Yep. That's nice. Alright. What do we want to do next? See this part here? That's my favorite part. How do we get more of that? Well, it's probably not that hard. <laughs> you just have to have too much paint, apparently. <laughs> you want those dendritic lines? You just have to have too much paint. Oh, look. Dry paint in there. It's not what I want. Yep, just pick up the napkin out of there. For, all right. Oh, what? The, oh, the fab. The, oh, my word. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Now, I could have even just used the um, cart. You know, probably easier. Potentially easier to even just do that, isn't it? And it'll be random because that's not like a perfect square. There we go. That's fun. Let's do more of that. I don't know. Just keep making marks until your brain is like, I like that. I mean, occasionally your brain might be like, what did you do? That's all right. Just tell your brain everything's fixable. And perfection is not attainable, so don't even try. This is not, I mean, it's smoother. But, oh, my word. Also, there's little stupid little things hanging off of there that are catching on stuff. I don't know what the front is and what, I think that's the back. Ooh, but that's kind of cool, too. All right. I'm really glad I did that backwards. I like I like this look. I mean, even if that's all I did for a cover. Okay, so, oh my word, when did that happen? Hopefully just now. Um, probably when I pulled out the um, this cardboard, probably. All right, let's make some more marks on the back of this because I really like how it looks on the front of it. And this is why we do the experimenting. Because sometimes you find out that you actually like something from the other side better. Who knows why? Nobody knows why. It 
just should be fun. All right, did you see? Isn't that? I like that that look right there. That's really cool and grungy and cool. And I need to put more more paint on my plate so I can do some more of that on the back side. But it's just like so cool. I am loving that. I am probably going to take a picture of that. Um, so you know. Oh, I could take a. All right, let me. Oh, let me before I mess it up. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture with my iPad real quick. See, I could do one of those. Um, I'm a digital artist. Of course I take pictures of things just for the texture. Let's see, do I wanna, I think there's some places I can pick up some of this on the edge here. Nope, this must be pretty dry. Oh, maybe that one's less dry. Some of that picked up, that's cool. Also, that would also be a cool pickup. So let's go ahead and, you know, pause everything and pick this up with some color. Because I'm a gel plate. I'm a mixed media artist. Of course I'm going to just randomly switch, switch, switch from painting fabric to gel plate printing in the middle of a video. Which I bought. Oh, look at the the strings are on there. So that's actually more texture, right? So there's an idea for texture. Just add string to your brayer. I should be moving much faster than this. Just FYI. Did I have a piece of paper ready to go? No, no, I did not. I wanted it to be strong enough so that I could see these random lines like that. That's what I want in the fabric. So maybe just get my fingers in it. Should we just go ahead and just lift, lift this and hope that the paper wasn't too... Okay, good. The paper was not one that gets stuck on the plate and whatnot. Yeah, there was some pink and orange on there before I started playing today. So that's all that crackly business and that's where I was doing this thing at. And look, it looks like this has, all right, you know, in a Petri dish and you have those little things making lines. Yep, that's kind of what that looks like. Oh, now we have another palette. And I just put this on last night and I just started using it today and it's already getting really marked up. But isn't it going to be some cool, really cool um, brayer paper? Which side do I want to do now? See, I like this as the background. It's really subtle. All right. What are we adding for color? We're doing random, Darcy. Random. It's supposed to be. All right. Well, we already have lines. Do we want to do crisscross lines? Not necessarily. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap in what color? But you know, let's just bring back that quinacridone nickel azo gold, the fluid one, because we can. Pipes. 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 Uh, I don't know. What they're doing. I mean, the reason I can use these colors over and over again is because I use these colors over and over again. So there is definitely uh, a time where I will most likely have pages that will fit a journal with these colors. All right, if you turn your fabric, then you won't have to worry too much about having it all look the exact same everywhere. I don't really want that either. All right, subtle, subtle as a hammer, okay. Some bits are more subtle than other bits. Does this look like if we do that through? I don't know, it doesn't really do anything, does it? Well, because it might show through on this side a little bit, that's why. Because I know you're thinking, what are you doing, lady? I'm just doing. Prussian blue. This is a really thick Prussian blue, so I want it almost black. Like I want it darker. So where is my my metallic? Not what you were gonna try to say, but metallic black. 
which I had like five minutes ago, right? Maybe 10. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> Hadn't gone far at all. Just, just to dabble, do ya? That goes there. That can go there too. making a little random. I know, it's too neat and precise, isn't it? I know some of you are like, what are you talking about, lady? I'm saying I wanted it to be a little more random. I'm not good at random. I'm like, spatially, I want it to look nicer than, than random. Which is why sometimes I really like, you know, my drop sheets and stuff that, that happen because of, you know, not on purpose stuff. See, it's almost black. I like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Because, why not? Because I like it. It's a nice. Oh, this is my stamp that I designed, by the way, which I absolutely love. So, why not use it on my stuff? It has, I have a smaller one too, so I can come in. Even with another color if I want to, with the smaller one. Turn it, Darcy. Don't put it the same way every time. And overlapping with some of the other patterns and stuff. And remembering that I am going to come back in with the smaller one with another color. Maybe even... Oh, actually, the other color might even end up being... Alright, i got to go wash that real quick. Oh, that stamp, by the way, was the wallflower stamp. And oh, there's also a wallflower stencil which is, you know, how the stamp was designed. Just took one of my wallflower stencil ones and made it into a... Well, sent it to Mariah to make it into a stamp. I don't make the stamps. Just FYI. That could be an interesting pickup. I'm going to let that dry and then pick that up in a bit. But I think I'm going to use um, this Versafine Claire to do... Let's see. I think I'll do this. These are almost leafy. Leaf-like. So I might just kind of put a few of these on here. And if I do the stamp, then I don't have to go wash it. <laughs> yes, that is the reason why I'm using the, uh, the ink. But it's permanent ink, so it should be perfectly fine. And it won't be as, it'll be more in the background as, as that. Well, sure, why not? We'll just... You do kind of want to um, stamp the right side. I'm not sure why I started stamping the wrong side there. And then I'm thinking about what color I want to do the um, um, the smaller flower. That was the smaller flower that you just saw there. Just put them everywhere. They can overlap. They don't go for perfection. Perfection is overrated. Perfection doesn't exist. I think I've mentioned that five or ten million times now. All right. So what color? Dusty Concord. No, that's too purpley. Ooh, do I not have any teal or brown? I mean, I like. We've got the orange. Oh, I've got this brown. If I'm gonna do brown. Cow now, brown cow. I'll do this brown. Brown and blue flowers. That's totally normal. In my world, <laughs> it is. Now, I'm going to try to remember this time to turn it. And look, I got like at least two stamps out of that, didn't I? That's kind of cool. I'm not, I'm trying not to think too much about placement. But, um, just putting them in here randomly looking for any really plain spaces that need a little something a little something something can I fit a third one I don't know oh look at that it's still going it holds some ink man looks more gray than brown but on here but that's all right um, I think that's good. I don't need to go crazy with it. 
And then, you know, I'm not sure what size. This actually could maybe do even two journal covers. And, uh, see? Wouldn't that be cool as a journal cover? I don't know. Do you guys want me to make some fabric and put it in my shop? I mean, I could do that. I can't promise how they'll look, though. Ooh, I really like what happened down here with the wrinkle. Kind of got caught in the brayer or whatever. So, let's see. It's, it's those things that really make me happy. The, uh, the little... Or it could go this way. In which case, it needs something right there. Probably, I'm not getting, I'm, I'm just, I've got a blue. <laughs> I've got a blue I can use. I'm not putting more paint on that, just saying. It's still wet though. Oh well, we're just gonna, maybe it'll give it more of a watercolor effect. Who knows? Oh, it just does it really lighter. That's all right, I'm good with that. That's um a couple different variations of blue for the big stamp. This is not bad. Why I just put that stamp upside down is beyond me. <laughs> the stamp pad, I mean. Don't know why I do things. All right, which side was that? That was the other side. So let's check out this side and see where we might want to put a little something. And on this side, maybe a little bit there, a little bit there. That's good. Oh, and then also the drop paper is good for doing this kind of thing. Kind of get some of that off of your, and then you end up with really cool paper to put in your journals or whatever. If it gets a tear in it, oh well, it's not the end of the world. You tape it or whatever. All right, I really wanted these to be a little more bright and fun. I'm not, I don't do bright and fun, apparently. All right, so there is one fabric painted and done, done and dusted, and you saw the other one, and we've got that one other small piece, which can make like a small journal. So this was done on the gel plate, and it does have some quinacridone magenta and some, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, I don't, where is that paint? Oh, I don't know. I'm missing a paint color in here. Somehow. I've, I've cleaned my area, so where in the world could that paint be? I don't know. Let's do a little bit of this, maybe. Oh, I was going to do just splatters. Well, I didn't. Just going to kind of brayer that across a little bit. Just kind of showing different things you can do. And, yep, it made it really grungy in the background. But now it's got some bright turquoise on there. as Plus that darker teal. Which, oh, that was off the plate, I think, is what that was. Oh, uh, what, 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 what? gel plate for the palette purposes of a palette um, let's do the cream might be good could have done white white would stand out a little bit more uh, of course it's not gonna oh look there's still string on there <laughs> that's possibly the same string got back on there this might have been what happened you do string too you can just kind of that wasn't what I was going to do with that I was going to um, do this that's not happening though because it's, it's not happening it's not doing what I want it's not doing anything I want all right well and it feels really weird now. All right, I really want to kind of gesso this a little bit. Gesso, I don't have gesso. I mean, I have gesso. I don't wanna get my gesso. I'm just gonna use this. It's the mat. I'm just gonna use it. That is way too much. That's all right. Wow, 
Wow, that does not want to move on there. It just, that was a lot. And do you see how that was? Now, if I don't like this side, guess what? I can always just turn it over and play with this side because maybe I was using the wrong side in the first place. Who knows? Try to get some of that paint out of there. All right, so now you know you can use your fabric as a texture thing. Just put too much plate paint in there and just squeeze that paint out onto your paper and you get some cool stuff happening. So there's that. All right. See, I don't mind these flowers here, which I can redo on this side, but I like, I like this side better. And I kind of like what's going on there. So let's just go ahead and... Oh, that's way too much. Let's hope it's way too much. Hmm. Yep, and that's going to mean I can't get the cover off later. All right. Yep, I said I was going to get my hands in it, and now I am. And just because, the reason I did that is because the white is coming up through the texture. And that's kind of what I was liking. Also... This might work too. I might get some more white texture on this side. Without, you know, I'm never going to be able to. I know some of you are like, "Why did you ruin the other side? It looked great. It looked all right. It, it was. It was a background. We're just making it the back of the background." I'm not going to worry about it. I want more white. I know. It's weird. Usually I'm trying to get rid of the white. It's the white that started there that I don't like. I want... I don't know what I want. But yeah, that was just getting a little too grungy back there for me. And, uh... I don't know. Let's see. Don't pour out so much, Darcy. I know, this is going to be hard. For, uh, apparently the mail is here and my husband has to mumble about it. Oh, you know what? might work on this. Um, maybe not, because then I'd have to seal it. But like um, oil pastels or something? I don't know. Let me see what I can get and try. All right, I'm starting to get frustrated with this piece, um, but don't, just, you don't have to get frustrated with your piece. It's just practice. It's just, as, as a small piece, piece to try and play with, I don't have to have it be perfectly perfect. So, I was thinking, that does not look yellow. It says wild honey. What if, oh, there we go. Now it looks, now it looks like Yep, that's what it looks like. It's not looking like honey. It's looking like what comes out of one or two ends of the... Well, now we have to make it look on purpose. So we're going to add a little bit more. It looks a little bit more like wild honey, but not exactly. And I'm sure I'm contaminating the heck out of this paint. But the more white I put on there, the more I like it. So, uh, another color besides the weird, oh, here we go. What about the forest moss? We'll see. And I'm hoping that the jet, the paint will kind of hold on, hold in the, um, will hold these in, you know, kind of set them in a way, you know what I mean? Maybe, or maybe because they're in fabric, they will stay a little bit better. I don't know. Because they're water soluble. I mean, not that you're going to be wanting to get your book cover wet. You're not. Just saying, try not to get it wet. What else do I have here? Gathered twigs. Oh, here we go. Is that iced spruce? Oh, here's a, a red aged mahogany. All right, let's just... And... Just 
kind of smudge it with the paint. I don't know. I don't think this is the way to do it, but I'm experimenting. Oh, if I'm going to experiment with something, um, you know what might be better? Well, now I put that on there once, i got to do it again. <laughs> Let's try... <sighs> what color do I want? That's like a pink. Oh, you know what? No. The markers will give us some... It'll bleed. That's what the markers will do, in case you're wondering. Also, I probably should wait for this to dry before I go messing with it like this. That's all right. We're not going to worry about it. This is experimenting. We're not stressing about it in any, any way. Yep, I just put magenta on there with the olive green. Well, was it olive green? No, oh, ice spruce or whatever because not all my markers are put away at the moment. Black, black. I was thinking, well, what if it came in from this side with some of that? Does that, hmm, might as well just go like this. Just giving us some of course, I could come in with some stencils and some paint, too. I like these markers because they just give me a nice little triangle. <laughs> Even if it is a wonky triangle sometimes because I'm not paying as much attention as I should. Yep, I'm just going to work with that wonky triangle, won't we? And we're going to overdo it. It's just going to... Put them all over. And then what? And then. And then. I'm not going to do magenta again. Why would we do magenta again? I don't know why. Turquoise. I don't have turquoise. I don't see my really dark. I don't see. All my colors are not put away. <laughs> I don't know where. Oh, they're right here in this box. That's why. Because I was using them the other day. So here they are. Here they are. All the colors I like the most. We got some turquoise coming through the back, so. <sighs> Let's just. Whatever. Maybe I'll just doodle on this. Any of that coming through the other side? Now which side is better? See? I don't know. I don't hate this side so much anymore now. Because I like that coming through and that coming through. These black bits are kind of starting to come through, but I could always make them come through on this side more. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to make these flowers stand out more. Like, they might come through the other side if I do this. It's wet back here. I should not be ruining my Posca pens like this. You don't have to. You could use a paint and brush. You know? You could, totally. I'm just going to do that now, apparently. That brush is way too big. That is a brush way bigger than I want or need at the moment. Will that stop me? No, apparently not. I will have no control. I will have absolutely no control over the brush. I have a little bit of control, but I would probably have more control. If I had a smaller brush, if I had a smaller brush. No, I don't know how to draw flowers really. I'm just, or paint, 
paint flowers. I'm just just trying stuff. You know how I do. And we'll see which side we like better. This is this is the experimentation part of it all is we just play and then see, you know, I kinda like that, like that, kinda sorta. Nothing says I have to make it a round flower. Right? Doesn't even have to be exactly where the other flower was. Alright, I'm finding this interesting. That I'm enjoying this. I think this is kind of what I wanted in the first place was to just add some painting. But I was trying to do random painting and apparently I really, in my brain, in the way back of my brain, wanted to do pink pop <laughs> leaves. That's what it kind of looks like. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Do one more. Little one down here. Why not? I got quiet. How am I doing it? I'm just making a line in the middle and just kind of going out on either side of the top and staying there or at the bottom. I don't know. Something like that is how I'm doing it. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Eh, probably not. But that's all right. And you do you and I'll do me. One, two, three, four, five, one more. See, that one's kind of too much in the middle. Well, this one will be in a minute. Just smoosh it in the middle. Just make a circle in the middle, a smooshy circle. A smooshy circle. I mean, you may come back with another color. Should I just do some more of that? Does it come in on the other side? No. I don't know. You guys can vote. Side A or side B. I don't know. I don't like this side now. I like this side better now. <laughs> Because why would I make sense in my life, in my life? You know, now I just kind of want to have some random petals just floating around here too, I think. And maybe this will make me like the other side better. I don't know. Anyway, how does that look if I like this? I mean, I suppose if this is the whole cover, then both sides would show, but see, I like how I have these oriental lattice back there in the background-ish. That's what the back would look like. I realize we do need another flower up there in the corner. That's me in the corner. And that's me in the spot. The light. Using my religion. They don't have to be perfect flowers. They don't even have to have the same size petals. It's kind of more interesting if they don't. And that one's upside down from the other one. Bloop, 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 bloop in the middle. I got quiet. Yeah, I did. Why? Because we can. <laughs> because sometimes we just want to. I want to. I want to. Do, do, do. It's not. You'd think, since this is like sort of like canvas, that it would be a little bit easier to uh, paint on, but not really. Alright. Put some pink on this side. Ooh, see, now it's not pink anymore. Now it's whatever color that is. I mean, potentially, it could all be used. 
like you know say that's the outside or the inside I don't know how would you choose I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to choose um it's interesting I don't know all right I'll I'll probably keep working on these like once this dries I might take some stamping and uh like some text stamp or whatever all right let's make sure that there's not a lot of paint around the rim of that because we want to be able to open it again someday all right but it does i did get some white on there which brightened it up and, and oh my goodness look at this this loveliness right here like that's going to be fun to use somewhere maybe even inside this tiny little it's not tiny it's um it's like uh that's 12 inches and uh, it's like almost 9 by 12 so it's, it's the regular cover size it just feels tiny that was a freaking long video for someone who wasn't even going to make a video today i hope you all have a delightful day do you want to see the other pieces well the, before while they're still in their whatever they look like now form i could do some so there's that one Isn't that fun and and they came out all different too which is kind of cool in this one which is a lot lighter because uh, it's on the lighter fabric I really love how the white paint on the back just I don't know you probably can't even see it but it just kind of barely shows through I don't, can you, I don't know if you can see it oh if I put something dark behind it maybe you can see it better let's try that Oh, there, you can see those lines coming through there. And there's something, oh, and over here, I think you can see it really well. That's paint on the background. I mean, on the on the back side that is showing through on the front side in a very subtle way. And I think that's really cool. I think this is my favorite piece. Ooh, and I didn't use anything that, I, I'm going to take a picture of that. <laughs> and I just may uh, put a uh, d digital on a... Uh, I'm a membership only on Kofi because I need to put something up there, so that might be it. Yay! I actually did something I could. It's all my stamps. That's why they're my, they're copyright. PM Artist Studio and me. I can use them because I created them. <laughs> that's the fun thing about having your own stamps and stencils, by the way, is you're just like I'm creating the stuff I designed, and it makes me happy. All right, I am going to yes, that's going to become a digital on my Kofi page for membership. I think I have two people in my membership, so they're worth it. I hope you guys have a delightful day. Love you.